welcome. Good morning, partner. Good morning, partner. No, thanks, honey. Just some toast and coffee. I have to go to court and file a motion. Oh, well, excuse me. No, thanks. Hey, how would you like some fried eggs for breakfast? Yuck, I hate eggs. Did you have a good time last night? That was great. Did you meet anyone interesting, Erica? Yeah, I did actually. Where'd you get that jack? Oh, Marcus, the guy I met, gave it to me because I was cold. Well, are you going to give it back? Yeah, I'm seeing him tonight. Woo! That was fast. Mambo! Oh, oh, Mambo, that is so crude. Oh, oh. 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 Can't that dog stay outside? Oh. Oh. You were the one who invited him. Oh. Oh. Hi, Mrs. Gibbons, is uh, Eric home? Well, hi, Kurt. Uh, well, I'm not sure she's ready to see you yet. Uh, I came to apologize. I heard you took Erica to that party. Yes, I did. After you dropped her like a bad habit. Ho oh, ho! Hardcore! Erica! What have you done to your beautiful blonde hair? It was uh, limiting me, Mom. Limiting you? I like it. Got a sort of Cleopatra thing going. Oh! Hope that junk washes out. Maybe it's permanent. Some things are, you know. Well, where are you going? Oh, to see Marcus. Don't you think you're going a little too fast? No, I don't. Who is this Marcus boy? Yeah, where can I find him? You have nobody to blame but yourself, muscle head. And don't think you're the only one who got burned. Erica, Erica, come on. I just want to talk to you. We don't have anything in common anymore, Kirk. We just don't speak the same language. You're acting like a real wacko, Erica. I'm worried about you. I'm not your little blonde girlfriend anymore, Kirk. I don't care if you're blonde. I wouldn't care if you had blue hair. Erica, I want you back. I made a mistake. Now you know how it feels. Well, what do you want me to say, Erica, that I'm sorry? Words only obscure true meaning. What? Who's been feeding you that garbage? This Marcus dude? This Marcus dude happens to believe in honesty and impurity of personal expression. Oh, okay, fine. So how am I supposed to express myself if you won't even talk to me? Why don't you try using your head for something other than a meat locker for once, Kirk? What's happening? Can I come in? Sure. I was only painting. You know, I think you've taken this whole thing too far. What thing? With Erica? I'm not taking her anywhere. She's just sort of impressionable. Why don't you just get off your ego trip? You're only doing this to see how far you can make her go. Hey, you can't force the willing. You are so transparent, Marcus. You choose my own stepsister to try and make me jealous. Talk about an ego trip. You know, I could care less about you. It really doesn't matter to me. You were just a phase I was going through. I'm worried about Erica. And I am only giving her a thrill. I am reinventing her. Oh, your own personal dress-up, Barbie? 
Why don't you butt out and let Erica decide what's best for Erica? The door's open. Erica, how long have you been standing there? Long enough. Let me explain. Let us go. Just hear me out. What do I have to do? Paint you a picture? I know what kind of artist you are. You're a con artist. Talk about purity of expression. Well, to tell you the truth, Erica, I like the old you better anyway. Mm, kind of stupid, huh? <laughs> you should have seen my green mohawk. <laughs> um. <laughs> What's so funny? You have got to see this. Come on. <laughs> What did you do to your hair? You said you wanted me to express myself, so I'm expressing myself. What did your buddies say? I cares what they say. <laughs> you are such a blockhead. But I love you for it. <laughs> Erica? <laughs> Grandma, what are you doing here? Well, I, I came to get Mumbo. Tell your mother I'll call her later. Let's get out of here, Mambo, before they do something weird to your hair. 